Are cash flow statements useful? I think they are. Let me try and explain why. When we say useful information, we're referring back very specifically to the conceptual framework. And the two fundamental characteristics of useful information are faithful representation and relevant. So do cash flows provide a faithful representation as to what is going on? Well, there are no measurement issues around cash flow. If you think about the statement of financial position, you've got to make a decision sometimes about whether to have something at cost or whether to have something at value. And then if you have it at value, there may be a subjectivity around the valuation figure you put on it. And those decisions directly affect the measurement of profit, because even if you revalue PPE, depreciation is based on that revalued amount. So with no measurement issues around cash, cash is going to be a very reliable and objective figure. There's no accruals concept with cash either. You've either received the cash in the period or you've paid the cash in the period. It's absolutely black and white. You know, with revenue in the P&L, you've got to make a judgment as to the point in time that the revenue is, is recognised, the performance obligation is fulfilled, or if you're recognising it over time, the method of overtime that you're using, is it on a cost basis, is it on a value basis, is it on a time basis or whatever, how does control pass? None of those decisions, none of those subjectivities arise with cash flow. You've not got the accruals concept. So you've not got measurement issues, you've not got timing issues, so the cash in and the cash out story is something which is very reliable. It's very objective and therefore it's a faithful representation of what has gone on. And faithful representation also wants us to be complete. And the cash flow statement gives us new information over and above the profit, over and above the statement of financial position. It gives us an insight into the liquidity, the solvency, the financial adaptability. So because we're getting more information, yeah, we're getting a more complete picture, it becomes a better faithful representation. It really does add something. But are cash flows relevant? Relevant to whom? Well, your primary user of the financial statements is, of course, equity, the providers of capital. And what are they interested in? What are investors interested in? Dividends and value, value of their investment. Well, dividends are paid in cash. So although you might think that a shareholder is only interested in profit, if they want to receive uh, a dividend, they've got to be able to understand whether the business is generating cash or not. And the value of the shares is often a multiple of profit as a way of valuing it. But these days, a lot of investors develop models around valuing the shares based on cash flows, dividend valuation model, for example. So absolutely, yeah, um, cash flow statements are useful. Yeah, they they're, give a faithful representation and they're very relevant. Yes, they're past figures. You know, you would ideally want to know not what last year's cash flows were. You'd ideally want to know what the future cash flows are. So they're not perfect. They're not perfect. But they help us understand going concern. You know, if you're an investor or an employee or a lender, you might be looking at the financial statements with a view of thinking, is this business still going to be there in the future? And just because a business is making profits, doesn't stop it going bust. But businesses which have strong cash flows and cash reserves are able to ride out the storm. Not every user is obsessed with profit. If you're an employee, you just want to get paid. You just want to go home. Yeah, you just want to go back to your husband, to your wife, to your family. So I'm a fan of cash flows. I think cash flows provide useful information to the users of the financial statements.